Uh, my first name is Kathy, and it's C A T H I E. Last name is Sullivan. Oh. S U double L I V A N. Perfect. And you can look at me and finish. Okay. Okay. We're just having a conversation. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your involvement in today and what you guys have been doing. Well, we found out early this morning that the laboratory was not going to allow anyone on the property without a badge. Uh, so we brought our carfuls of activists close to the lab and mounted our action from there. And the, the action was that we had agreed that six people would risk arrest and the rest of the people would be in support of those six. So the action was to stop traffic and delay uh, workers arriving at the lab for as long as we possibly could. And it turned out that uh, as they were, after they arrested us and they were pulling us away in a paddy wagon, uh, we passed, I bet, a mile and a half of stacked up employee traffic. So my impression for delaying the opening of this nuclear weapons lab in the morning by a handful of tens of minutes was worth the effort. Um, we were treated very civilly by uh, Los Alamos County uh, Police and also their representatives at the arrest site. We were warned we would be arrested if we didn't leave the intersection. And they knew that we were uh, peaceful and we were here to make the point on the anniversary of Hiroshima which was 67 years ago today, uh, that we um, morally, economically, in every way, we want our country to lead the world in slowly and in a verifiable manner getting rid of these weapons of mass destruction designed and built here, you know, for the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. So, that's the, the reason for the action. Uh, we feel we were quite successful. Uh, we wanted to keep it peaceful, no weapons, uh, no damage to people or to property. Uh, I think that's the story. Yeah, and this is kind of a personal mission for you? You used to work at the labs? I did not work at the lab, but I've had a lifelong interest in uh, biology and the effects of low level radiation on the biosphere, doesn't matter whether it's, you know, human beings or other animals. Uh, but I've been working intensely on nuclear weapons issues since 1979, a long time. I'm now 73, and you can see it's several decades. Um, I just have a moral passion against these weapons. I feel our species can do a better job and figuring out how to uh, destroy each other with these uh, nuclear weapons. Have you ever been arrested for something like this before? One other time, and it was even more dramatic. <coughs> uh, it was at the Bradbury Science Museum. Uh, that's down the street, and it's kind of a company museum for the lab in order to give a more friendly face uh, to the visiting public. It's important to know that about 67% of the laboratory's budget is for core nuclear weapons work. Uh, they are very fond of describing themselves as a broadly based science research lab. They would not be here without that weapons work. Do you feel you're making a difference? Uh, that's a, the hardest question to ask, so I'll give you an opportunity to withdraw it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> well, yeah, it's one person at a time, one, you know, movement yeah. at a time. That's so. true. Yeah. yeah, it's right. And I, I know it's the thing I want to be doing, but there's a, <coughs> apparently a kind of a belief in Buddhism. I'm not a Buddhist. Uh, that you don't focus on the goal. You do what you think is right at the moment. I like that. And the path. Sure. Or Kathy, it's so nice yes. to meet you. A pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you. Do you think the movement is growing to abolish nuclear there's, weapons? There's any question that the movement against uh, weapons of mass destruction, and particularly nuclear weapons, is definitely growing. Uh, there have been a majority opinion, public opinion polls, for decades on this issue in the United States to work to reduce nuclear weapons always with the important qualification of being able to verify what each nation's
promised Kim. What's the connection between nuclear power and nuclear weapons? I couldn't be more happy to have that question. Uh, every nuclear reactor produces plutonium. Plutonium is the core of a thermonuclear weapon. Uh, if you have civilian nuclear power, you have the technology to make weapons of mass destruction. And I think I have this right. In the last 30 years, India, Pakistan, and the new countries that have acquired nuclear weapons first had civilian nuclear power that they promised the world was strictly to generate electricity. They all developed nuclear weapons based on that technology. So nuclear power cannot be dis separated from nuclear weapons potential. So do you think the United States needs to dismantle our nuclear power plants as well as the nuclear weapons complex? Well, currently we get something like 18% of our electricity from nuclear power. And, you know, it's been many, many years. Uh, just recently, a couple of plants were okay to be built in the southeastern part of the United States. Right. But preceding that, it had been since like 1976, 78, since any plant had been okayed or built. Yeah, and the plants we have now are 40 years old, and they're right. coming to the end of their life expectancy. That's right. But they're being extended. Do you think that's dangerous? Absolutely it's dangerous. There's no question Could what happened it. in Japan with Fukushima happen here? I'm not qualified to answer that specific question by any means. I do happen to know, however, that we have some nuclear power plants that are of that same general electric design, the Mark something. Right, right produced by General Electric. General Electric, yeah. And they might be in California on, uh, on nuclear fault lines. There are oh, some in well, California, yes, I don't know if they're the same design, but yeah. there's the San, San Onofre, yeah, San Onofre. In, Cal in California and some others yeah. that are on fault lines or near the fault lines. That's right. My daughter lives in Arcata, Northern California, where they had a nuclear power plant that they closed uh, probably 15 years ago when they found that it was located just specifically on a fault that a geology student at the school on Earth or discovered. Closed it down. Not to yeah. me. No, absolutely. Nuclear power and nuclear weapons cannot be separated. Thanks. What's your name again? I'm Kathy. Kathy. And the last name is Sullivan. So, Kathy Sullivan, thank you so much. Okay, Thanks thank for you. your work. You bet.